We're installing a Bruno stair lift on these stairs. This is a used one and it's heavier than it looks. The main track typically comes in two pieces. The supports can be maneuvered to fit different stair pitches. Spread the supports out evenly and just see where they naturally fall into place. Once everything's in place, we'll be able to tighten these up. We'll add the other section of track. There's two bolts on either side and a big steel plate. Snug it up nice and tight. Make sure everything lines up nice and straight. We'll roll it back into place and start setting all the supports again. We'll line it up to the wall, but we're not going to bolt anything down until we have the chair on. We'll run it up and down and make sure everything works first. We want to make sure that the chair's not running on the wall. Tighten up all the supports. Snug them up nice and tight so they don't move. Add the chair into place and there's some connectors. Be careful not to crimp any of the wires. There's wire connections on the seat and there's also wire connections to the charger. There's a long wire that'll run all the way up to the stairs to the top of the unit. There's two lead acid batteries that have got to go in next. We put the batteries in and then plug it into 110 volts. Hook in the footrest with the connector. We had to retrain the remotes. You push the button on the circuit board and the button on the remote. We did this procedure to one remote and the other one followed suit. The dip switches inside the remotes are set the same. The chair itself can be moved up with the remotes or there's a button on the chair. We'll run everything up and down to make sure that it's not too close to the wall. Once the distance is verified, then we can bolt everything down to the steps. Now you're ready to zip up and down the steps.